It's the weekly reset, so we're going to go over what is available for this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Garnet Watcher. So, it is the weekly reset, but before we get into the video, if you haven't already entered into the Destiny 2 Annual Forsaken uh, giveaway for the month of November, then click on the link in the description box below for your chance to win. So, let's go over what we have for challenges for this week. Starting with the left hand side, we have Titan. And that is that we have to complete a uh, heroic adventure, as well as the uh, Flashpoint is on Titan this week. And you can do public events, lost sectors, as well as heroic adventures. However, if you do public events, if you do the heroic version of that, you can get this done a lot faster. Next, we have the Vanguard. So we need to uh, complete three daily story missions, as well as uh, three strikes. We need to do the Nightfall, as well as get 100,000 in uh, team scoring. This week for the Nightfall, we have Warden of Nothing, The Corrupted, as well as The Pyramidian. Next, we have Gambit, which you need to complete three matches. And then we have Crucible. And in the Crucible, we need to do uh, five matches. And that goes for everything except for private matches. But you only need to complete one of them. And as for the Dreaming City, we have uh, reporting in uh, the Valiant Mists, which you need to complete the weekly bounties at the Dreaming City. And we also have this wonderful uh, the Oracle Engine mission here too. Whoops, let's not forget the uh, tower. So we need to uh, complete bounties uh, for Ikora, 20 of any kind, as well as get uh, 5,000 XP for your clan. Don't forget to visit Tess Evers at the Eververse. Eververse is at your service. This week we have your wonderful uh, Steadfast Engrams as well as the Road to uh, Redemption Bundle. Inside this bundle you get 3 Steadfast Engrams, 500 Bright Dust as well as 10 44 Steel uh, Shaders. And then we also have the Master Archer Bundle. Ooh. This gives you 3 Steadfast Engrams as well as the Ornament for the Wish Ender, and I do not have this. Unfortunately, I'm not going to buy this bundle. And then it also gives you Corrupted Aether uh, Transmat Effect. And this is what that looks like. Yay. As for the Prismatic, uh, oh, sorry, Prismatic Matrix, we have the Guardian Angel Ornament for the Chaperone. Looks pretty badass, if I would say so myself. Then we have the Death to Kells uh, ship. As well as the Dragonfly Regalia Vest for Hunters, the Dragonfly Regalia Helm for Titans, and the Dragonfly Regalia Bomb for Warlocks. On this side, we have the Atlantis Shell. Comes with two random uh, mods or perks, sorry. Then we have the uh, Astra Blade ship, or Astera Blade, sorry. Terrible with pronouncing things. Then we have the Here I Stand speeder. Nice and black. As well as the Jade Rabbit projection, which is a projection for your ghost, and the Awkward Greeting for your emote. Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty awkward. <laughs> As for the Bright Dust purchases, we have the Sad Trombone uh, emote. Then we have the Odd Dance. Apparently this is Kate's favorite. It even says so right there. As for our vehicles, we have this uh, Mappa Mundarum. Then we have the Skedaddle. As for ships, we have uh, Where Stars Collide. 
terrible looking shit. As well as the, the Galactic Hum. Pretty much looks like a reskin of Saint 14 shit. Ghosts. We have the Perilous Precision Shell. And this comes with uh, Speed Demon as well as Omni Telemetry and one random mod. This is actually the one I use. And then we have the uh, Lambda Shell. As well as the Dragonfly Regalia Strides for Hunters and I'm guessing Strides for the Warlock as well as the Titan. Coming down here, we have the Aim to Misbehave Ornament for the Malfeasance. Or Malfeasance, however you want to pres uh, pronounce that. Looks pretty badass. Then we have the uh, Vice Silver, which is the ornament for the colony. Then we got your two Transmat effects. One's the Rasputin effect. And then the other is Gold Beam effects. Then we have your Shaders, Precision Vex Chrome. Uh, Precursor Vex Chrome, sorry. Uh, Noble Constant Red. And then we have your two Boons and your Fire Team Medallion. So here we are in the uh, the Valley of Mists, and this is where Petra is for this week. Welcome back. As for the bounties, we have the Pursuits. First, the Oracle Engine. Uh, War for the Dreaming City. Ascendant Challenge, as well as Gateway Between Worlds. And then for her dailies, we have Fieldwork. Uh, Reagent resources, uh, Defender of the Well, Lost in the Mists, as well as Challenge is the Plague Breaker. Now real quick, I was actually debating on whether I still want to do the weekly uh, reset videos or not, and if I didn't do the weekly reset videos, I probably would replace it with um, just a generic video that uh, I don't normally do all the time. But uh, let me know in the comment section below if you guys would still like to see the weekly reset videos or if you just want a different type of video on Tuesdays um, that would actually replace the weekly reset videos. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.